refraction. Another property of all waves is refraction, but we're just going to look at light here. Now light always travels in straight lines, as we've seen, but it does tend to travel slower in more dense materials than it does in less dense ones, and this causes it to change its direction. And this is called refraction. We can think of this like a car entering a muddy section of road. So we know the car will travel slower through the mud. And as we can see here, if the car drives in at an angle, part of the car is going to slow down first, causing it to turn. Now, if we add a normal, we see that when it goes into the mud, or a more dense medium, it turns towards the normal. As it continues, we see that when it leaves the mud, or goes back to a less dense medium, part of it speeds up first, and it turns away from the normal. And this would be the same if it were light entering a glass block, or water even. It will bend towards the normal as it goes into a more dense medium, and it would bend away from the normal as it goes into a less dense medium. Just a good idea to quickly note the angles here. We still have the angle of incidence when it hits a boundary between two mediums, but now we have the angle of refraction when it leaves the boundary of those two mediums. So the angle of incidence will be bigger than the angle of refraction when it's going from air into glass, and the angle of incidence will be smaller than the angle of refraction when it goes from glass into air.